As many of you know, the IPA in English can be kind of a problem. Now, some people disagree with me, but even if the IPA didn't have any problems, it's still just a crutch. You really need to train your ears, and the IPA, at best, is just one way to help you do that. Instead, I want to introduce you guys to something that I have created specifically to help English learners better learn American English. It's what I call the English Hacks Phonetic Transcription Guide. Now, this is something that you can use, but more importantly, from now on, this is what I will be using to mark the phonetic transcriptions in my videos for pronunciation. There is a link to download this guide in the description. And one of the best things is that instead of learning a bunch of new strange symbols that you have to memorize, basically another alphabet, we're actually just using English letters, but in a consistent way. So for example, the third vowel sound, e, is always directly transcribed as eh with a silent h, so we know it's the third vowel. This way you don't have to worry at all about the IPA. But it's not just basic sounds. As you can see here, we cover all the sounds, including R-colored vowels and L-colored vowels, and there's also reference information for stress, for linking or connections, as well as some examples to show you how everything fits together. Of course, as I've said before, there are some uses of the IPA, but in general, I don't think it's very useful and definitely not necessary for learning American English. So, if you would like to continue using the IPA, feel free to do so. But the way that I will be transcribing pronunciation in all of my videos where I specifically transcribe the phonetic sound, I will be using this English Hacks way. I'm also looking for feedback from you guys. If you think that there is anything confusing or anything that you might change to make it more helpful, feel free to leave comments or ask questions, and I might make some changes to address these issues. But I've spent a lot of time thinking about this, and I think what I've come up with is the ideal solution for learning American English pronunciation. So go ahead and download it, take a look, let me know what you think, and I can make another video or two on this topic to address any questions or issues that you have. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys soon.